What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be talking about breakpoints and bulk points in Pokemon Go. This is a highly requested video. We're gonna be breaking down exactly what they are, how to find them and how they work. Let's get into it. Before I get into this video, I gotta say a couple things. First of all, this is an advanced Pokemon Go technique. So if you don't understand the basics of Pokemon Go, there's a couple things you need to understand before you watch this video or you're gonna be so confused. First of all, you need to understand how stats work, levels, IVs, and all of that stuff. I have a full video diving into that topic if you wanna watch that before this video to refresh your brain. Also, you need to understand P PvP IVs and why you want low attack, high defense, high stamina in Pokemon Go and how that whole concept works. Again, I have another video which I will link below if you want to refresh your brain on that. Finally, we're going to be using a website called PV Poke today. If you don't know the basics of PV Poke and how all the features work on that website, I do have a full breakdown of how to use this website, which could be very useful for you to know, but it's not necessary to watch this video, but something important. So be sure to go check those out. But if you already know all those topics and understand them, you should be fine during this video. Also, I just want to shout out Swag Tips for helping me with this video. He's the breakpoints master in Pokemon. Pokemon Go and he gave me some pointers to help you guys explain this concept to you. Talk a little bit more about his channel at the end of this video, but definitely go check him out, link below. Okay, let's hop into it with a simple explanation of breakpoints. I'm gonna quote PV Poke, but in Pokemon Go, damage is dealt in whole numbers. A breakpoint is when a Pokemon has a high enough attack to deal one more damage with their fast move. So the first important thing to know about breakpoints is that it only affects your fast move damage. So it's not gonna change your charge move damage. We're looking at how to do extra damage with our fast move. The second thing I'm gonna say is it's very Pokemon specific. For example, let's say you have an Azumarill in the Great League and this Azumarill has exactly 183 true attack. Note, this is just an example. This is not the actual stats of Azumarill. Then let's say this Azumarill is going up against a Drapion in the Great League. And this Drapion has exactly 234 defense stats. The break point is gonna be the point at which Azumarill's attack gets high enough in which the fast move Azumarill uses, which is Bubble, is gonna be doing an extra damage. So let's say your Azumarill goes from, I think it was 184 attack we said to like 186 attack. You got a better IV one and now it has a little bit of a higher attack. That change in attack stat there is going to make it so bubble is going to be doing instead of five damage every time you use it, six damage. You could see how this could be useful because fast moves add up and doing that one extra damage can really, really add up and end up allowing you to win that matchup. Maybe you were losing it before or if you already beat Drapion, this time you now destroy Drapion because you're doing way more fast move damage. One thing you probably thought about now is that breakpoints are not equally useful across all Pokemon though. It's very fast move dependent and there are certain fast moves that it's a lot better to hit break points on than other fast moves. Take a fast move like Dragon Breath, which is a one turn fast move. Every time you use a Dragon Breath, the animation only lasts 0.5 seconds. So you're using those Dragon Breaths a lot. Hitting a break point on a Dragon Breath in which you're doing one extra damage with that Dragon Breath is absolutely insane. Since Dragon Breaths are happening so often, adding one extra damage to each single one of those Dragon Breaths can add up a lot. You do 20 Dragon Breaths to a Pokemon. If you have a break point on that Pokemon, you're doing 20 extra extra damage to that Pokemon, which is a huge deal in some matchups. So you do have to vary what fast move your Pokemon has and is it actually worth going for the breakpoint. In some scenarios with moves like Bullet Seed, for example, you're more reliant on getting energy and using charge moves to your damage and less reliant on your fast move damage. Final thing I wanna say about breakpoints is you're gonna be sacrificing bulk when you're going for breakpoints. Since you're gonna be trying to get a higher attack stat on your Pokemon to hit a certain breakpoint on a Pokemon, we'll talk about how to find breakpoints in a bit. You generally are gonna be losing defense and HP stats, meaning that even though you are hitting that break point, you will be a little more frail on the defensive side and you could end up actually sacrificing defense. While PVP IVs, which are low attack, high defense, high stamina IVs, only look to hit bulk on Pokemon, break points are more about doing more damage, which in certain scenarios actually can win you the matchup. Now let's talk about bulk points. Bulk points is gonna be the opposite end of the spectrum and you're gonna be looking at it from a defensive side. Let's take that Azumarill again and let's say it hit that break point in which it has a high enough attack stat. So your Drapion is taking six damage from bubbles instead of five damage. Well, a bulk point is going to be a point in which Drapion's defense is high enough in which it's taking one less damage every single fast move. It's literally just the opposite of break point. You're looking at from a defensive side and let's say our Drapion's defense was what? Like 234, we said. Again, this is just all random examples, but let's say you bring your Drapion's defense up to 250. Now, since your Drapion's defense is 250, you are taking one less damage from each single bubble and you end up surviving more bubbles and you end up being able to win that matchup, whatever, whatever. Bulk points are just the defensive version of breakpoints. Again, this is a very case by case scenario with every single different Pokemon. Sometimes you're gonna wanna go for the low attack, high defense, high stamina IV set because it's bulkier and you end up winning more matchups, but there are some Pokemon in which having that breakpoint is gonna be very useful because then you're winning certain matchups that normally with low attack, high defense, high stamina you would lose. There's been a huge debate in the community in which is it better to go for low attack, high defense, high stamina or better to hit breakpoints. That's been a debate for the longest time. People believe in different things. Okay, with all that out of the way, I'm sure a lot of people are asking, how do you actually find breakpoints? 
points. And this is where we're gonna hop onto PV Poke with a quick example of how you can do it for yourself. And then I'm gonna give you guys more resources. First you wanna do on PV Poke is click on the battle section here. And then you're gonna wanna come here and you wanna click on the matrix. Now in here is where you can go ahead and choose your league. So what league are we looking for the breakpoints on? We're gonna go with the old Great League. And then in here, we're gonna click custom group Great League meta. This will instantly put all the Great League meta Pokemon. So any Pokemon that's really good in the Great League. This is great. You wanna use this because this is most likely the Pokemon you're gonna be seeing. We are gonna be using the Pokemon Sableye, which is my favorite. And also Sableye is a good Pokemon to look at because it can have such a variety of IVs, whether you wanna build it XL or not. Now I have three Sableyes here. We're gonna compare three Sableyes. First Sableye, you can come over here, by the way, click advanced set IVs. You can input the IVs of a Pokemon and it'll come out with an attack, defense, and a stamina for that specific Sableye at the league CP cap with those IVs. So I'm gonna go with the one that's, uh, actually we're gonna go with something more XL build. So this is gonna be a 3, 15, 15 IV set. The second one here, we're gonna leave with what it instantly inputted a 7, 15, 15, which is like a middle of ranked Sableye, not terrible, not bad. And the last one I'm gonna build here is gonna be a non XL Sableye. This is the original Sableye, level 40, 100% IV or level 41. We're gonna go ahead and save that. We come down here and we're gonna click the battle. Now in here, as you know, if you've ever used the matrix, it's gonna give you a battle rating. We're not gonna be looking at this, but this, if you don't know, shows you if you win that matchup or not. Any number under 500 means Sableye wins it. So, you know, you're beating Kofagrigus, Cresselia, all that stuff. Any number above, Sableye loses it. I'm gonna cut in real quick here. I had my battles inverted. So for the remainder of this video, when I am talking about the battle matrix, normally any number above 500 means that Sableye wins the matchup, but I had it inverted so that any number under 500 meant that Sableye wins the matchup. So just note that your PV poke might be the opposite because I had something changed. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come into breakpoints. Now, what this is gonna show you is it's gonna show you for this Sableye on this Pokemon, so Sableye versus a Bomb of Snow, you are doing four Shadow Claw f damage every time you use a Shadow Claw on a Bomb of Snow. As you can see, each Sableye is the exact same. Four, 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 no matter what the IV set, there's no breakpoints as you can see based on these three. But what you can do is you can scroll across and you can look for Pokemon that are hitting breakpoints. For example, Dugong. As you can see this Dugong here with this IV set, four, nine, 14. Generally, I think you want to make the um, Pokemon you're going up against the rank one IVs. It's, it's, it's probably better to look at the rank one IVs because generally I don't think you're going to see a lot of four, nine, 14s, but this is just an example. And you can see that both the two XL Sableyes, the three, 15, 15 and the seven, 15, 15 do six Shadow Claw damage, but the old Sableye, the um, level 41 is doing seven. So there's a break point right there. Obviously it's pretty general, but still as we scroll across, we can look even for more Lapras hits a break point as well. Six, six. And then this one, the non XL one is still doing seven. This is a good way to find general Pokemon in which you should be probably searching breakpoints for. Look, there's one on the uh, nine, Alolan Ninetales, 19, 19, 20, and you can go ahead and take a look. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to go and you're going to look into specific Pokemon. So once you get an idea of, you know, most of these Pokemon, you don't hit breakpoints on, but Dugong hits one. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to switch to single battle and we're going to put a Sableye versus a Dugong. There you go. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to choose the IV set that we have. Honestly, you actually don't really need to put in the IV set because it's going to show you but generally for the going up against the Pokemon, you want to click maximize here. It's going to give you the rank one. So you're going to make sure you're going up against the rank one here. You're going to hit calculate here. It's going to go ahead and it's going to show you, oh, the matchup and all that stuff. Mine's just not loading. Okay, there's loads. But you're going to scroll down. You're going to come to breakpoints and bulk points. This is where you can see PewPoke is going to show you all these breakpoints and bulk points. Now, what this is going to show you here is it's going to show the attacks that you need. So minimum attack 117.21 to hit a breakpoint in which you're doing five Shadow Claw damage against the Dugong. So we're going to compare this number 117. 7.21 to our actual attack stat with this set of IVs. We're doing 121 damage, so we are hitting that break point. The great thing about PV Poke, though, it'll take into consideration low attack, high defense, high stamina IV sets, and it'll give you the best ranked IV set based on that that still hits the break point. Here, it's going to be a level 48, 3, 14, 15. So we can click that. It's going to input that. And as you can see here, 119.5, we are still hitting that break point. That's a very good way to simply find break points. Same goes with bulk points here. It can show you the defense you need to hit certain break points. So for example, if you want to take six damage every time you hit, be hit by a nice shard instead of seven, you need 118 minimum attack or defense, sorry. And we are hitting that, as you can see, 124.5 on the Sableye. So we are hitting those breakpoints against the Dugong for both attack and defense with this set of IVs. If you're ever curious and you want to make sure you're hitting breakpoints, you can just take a look here at the ones that PV Poke recommends. Now, obviously in this scenario, level 48, 3, 14, 15, that's a very good ranked PVP IV set, all in good. But I want to give you guys a scenario in which the IV set is not a very good ranked PVP IV 
reset, but you're still hitting breakpoints. We're going to put the Sableye up against the Lapras, and we're going to go ahead and click Battle. Now we can scroll down, and you're going to see here some different set of IVs for breakpoints. So we have two breakpoints here. First, we're going to have the five Shadow Claw damage, the same one we saw against the Dugong, and you're going to want to be hitting a 97.41 attack to hit that breakpoint. So we can scroll up here, see if we're hitting that. Yeah, we are clearly hitting that. We're way over that. The second breakpoint is going to be a six Shadow Claw damage breakpoint, and we need 121.76 attack to hit it. As you can see, we are not hitting that breakpoint with this IV set, which is a 3, 14, 15, so a very good PvP IV set. We're hitting 119.5 attack. So we can scroll down here, and as you can see, PV Poke is actually recommending a different set of IV. This is not a rank one. I'm actually curious what IV set of 4.13.7 is on a Sableye. 4.13.7 is a 226, so it's actually still pretty good. But as you can see, it's not the higher rank one we got earlier, which is 3, 14, 15. Let's find out what that one is. That's literally a rank 22. So as you can see, there's a whole 180 ranking difference between those two, but you are hitting a break point on the Lapras in which you are doing more Shadow Claw damage every time you use Shadow Claw and Shadow Claw is a strong move. So that does add up. You can also take a look at the defensive break points in which you have the seven ice shard damage to the six ice shard damage. You need to reach 122.47. And to do that, you want to go with the classic IV set I was recommending before the rank 20, which is a 3, 14, 15, which I believe is like the best rank Sableye you can get since purifying it does add some IVs to the attack. So as you can see here, there's going to be different IV sets PU Post is going to recommend for hitting different breakpoints. For example, if I plug in the 4, 13, 7, I'm going to take a look at my defense. I have 125.2 defense. If I scroll down here, I am both hitting the defensive breakpoint for the uh, 122.47 and I am hitting the attack breakpoint 121.76. Yeah, 121.76 because I have 1.21.8. So in general here, the best IV set is going to be 4137, which is technically ranked worse than the other one by like 180 rankings, but you're doing more damage to Lapras and you're taking less damage from Lapras. Let me actually throw these into the matrix. Let's compare. So I'm going to go ahead in here. I'm going to throw in, what was it? The first one was a 31415 IV set, which is a level 48 Sableye. This hit the defensive breakpoint, but it didn't hit the attack breakpoint. The other Sableye was a 4137. We're going to go ahead and throw in a Lapras. And as you can see here, the Sableye with the higher attack, which is going to be the second one we put, the worst rank one, is actually winning this matchup by more since its number is lower. If we change the shield scenarios into the zero shield, you're going to see here the bulkier Sableye, the better rank one, is actually losing the Lapras matchup now compared to the better Sableye, which is actually winning the matchup by even more in the zero shield because it's doing more damage, just hitting those breakpoints. But there is still a downfall in the two shield scenario. You're going to see the opposite thing happen. The higher attack Sableye is going to be losing the matchup, but the bulkier Sableye is going to still win the matchup because it can survive for longer because it has just more bulk in general. I'm going to cut in here again with one final thing. When you are looking for breakpoints, it's very important to come into your settings on PV Poke. And at the top here, you want to set your default Pokemon preference to maximum stat product. So this is going to show you when you input a Pokemon, it's going to instantly give it the rank one. When you're looking for breakpoints, you want to make sure you're looking up against the rank one opponents because those are the Pokemon that are going to have the highest defense. So you want to see how much attack you're going to need to go up against the best bulkiest opponents you are seeing. Now, on the opposite end of that, when you're looking for bulk points, you're going to switch to the typical IVs here, the rank 500 IVs. This will make it so anytime you input a Pokemon, it'll give it IV sets that are all right PvP IVs, probably ranked around the 500s or something like that. If you were doing breakpoints against the rank one IV set, the bulkiest Mon, that Mon is going to have the lowest amount of attack. So it's not very useful to look at bulk points against the lowest attack opponents you're going up against, because generally opponents are going to have a little more attack or a lot more attack than the best possible IV set because not everyone has the rank one, right? So just remember when looking for break points, you want to set this to maximum stat product. Bulk points, you want to set this to typical IVs. So I hope that kind of makes sense to you guys. I know it was kind of a complicated explanation, but that is a quick way to find out break points for yourself. However, I'm going to say, and most of you guys are probably like, I don't want to do this for myself. This is going to take forever. But I'm going to recommend you guys go over to my man Swag Tips channel. He's an amazing Pokemon Go YouTuber and he does amazing breakdowns of break points for specific Pokemon. For example, during Walrin Community Day, he made a couple videos breaking down Wal Walrin's IVs and what are the best IV sets to hit certain breakpoints on certain Walrin so you're doing more damage against certain Pokemon in the meta and all of that stuff. Definitely recommend you guys go check that out because then all you have to do is go check out his video. He'll tell you, yo, these are the breakpoints you got to watch out for. Look for these sets of IVs. It's very simple. He makes it amazingly simple for us. So go check him out and give him a 
subscribe. But that's going to be my explanation of breakpoints, guys. If you want to see a second video or more videos on this topic, please let me know because it's kind of hard to explain it in all of one video. So let me know if that's something you want to see. But that's going to be my quick initial explanation of breakpoints and how they work in Pokemon Go. Hope that made sense. If you have any questions, let me know below. And if you're an expert on this topic, feel free to add some of your two cents to this topic and then also answer some questions that people might have. I would be very appreciated if you helped out. That's me, guys. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Fall from tips, everyone. Peace.